Hey guys, let me present you another interesting toy, a Parkside Performance Laser Distance Meter. It's equipped with a green laser for better visibility at daylight, a measuring range up to 75 meters, a measuring accuracy of plus minus 1.5 millimeters and plus minus 0.3 degrees. You would ask why this thing has a measuring accuracy in degrees? Well, it has an integrated digital spirit level. This is what you can find in the box, a lanyard, the tool, practical storage bag and two AA batteries. Visually, it looks really well manufactured, no rough edges, no nothing. According to Parkside, it meets the IP65 standard. However, when placing the batteries, an additional push is required so the door can really seal the compartment. I'm sure you saw there is a mounting point for using the tool with a tripod. The device is equipped with a color display as it goes for its brightness, well, it could be better. The user has the option to adjust the brightness, but even at highest level it's a little bit insufficient. The device is equipped with vibration function, which can be quite useful if you're doing measurements in position in which you cannot see the screen. Of course, there's an audible indication, which just like the vibration, you can turn on and off. Just like on any distance meter, you can change the reference point, the rear edge of the device, the front edge of the device or the center of the tripod thread. Parkside integrated some sort of a battery saving function when activated. The screen brightness is reduced and the sound and the vibration are turned off. The measuring units you can choose between meters, centimeters, inches and so on. What else can I show you? Well, you can calibrate the internal spirit level. If you have doubts it's not working correctly, you just have to follow the simple on-screen instructions. You can restore the factory settings or you can delete the taken measurements. The device automatically records each measurement and it can store up to 250 of them. So much with the settings menu. Let's press the mode button. And here we have listed all the available measuring modes. We can do simple distance measurements. We can measure distance like we're using a tape measure. I will show you later. We can measure area. We can measure volume. Or we can use the interesting indirect measuring function. Let's start with the basic distance measuring function. On the screen we have the digital spirit level. Pressing the measurement button once activates the green laser. Pressing it twice takes the measurement. The tape measure function is really cool. When activated, the device is constantly updating you with the distance information, just like you're using a real tape measure. Well, the refresh rate is not so fast, but I really like the idea. Under the same menu, we have a similar function showing you the min and the max distance from an object. Again, it's not refreshing so fast. If you're suffering from some visual impairment, you can always activate the large numbers function. Probably here is a good time to tell you that pressing the I button when a certain mode or a certain function is marked brings up a help menu explaining you how to use it. Really, really helpful. What else can I show you here? Well, we have a dedicated spirit level mode with two different visualizations. This is the visualization when the tool is lying on its back. I 
Again, the refresh rate is not so fast. And this is the visualization when the tool is placed on one of its sides. Like I told you, the tool can store up to 250 measurements and you can view and delete each one of them. I won't be showing you the functions for measuring area and volume. Most of the modern laser distance meters have them. But I will show you the interesting function for indirect distance measuring. For this to function properly, you need a tripod. Let's activate the laser. Currently, the laser is about 20 centimeters. Let's move the laser to 100 and do a second measurement and the calculated distance is 83 centimeters which is more or less correct. The two features in total three functions for indirect distance measuring. Of course, just like you saw, they are not laser sharp accurate despite of this being a laser. However, they can be quite handy in certain situations. So much with the fancy stuff, let's see how accurate this thing really is. For comparison, I will use this Bosch Professional GLM40 and this Green Park site, a B2 version. The distance from the wall you see is exactly 200 centimeters starting with Bosch a longer distance The Green Park site and Bosch are giving identical results. The new performance model slightly bigger, but it's within the stated accuracy level. Let's take a look at the brightness of the three lasers. Definitely the green laser is the brightest. Unfortunately, when measuring outside at daylight, the new product quite often returns an error or it gives inaccurate measurements, even at relatively close distances.
Initially, I was really impressed by the new distance meter, but after seeing it how it performs at daylight, I could only say how typical for Parkside. Great product with poor realization and zero testing it before releasing to the market. If you're planning to use it only inside, yeah, why not buy one? However, if you don't need the fancy features and if you're going to use it outside also, a simple green version is cheaper and most importantly, it's more reliable. Hopefully, Parkside will solve the issues in the second version and hopefully they will start testing their products before release. That's all from me, guys. If you'd like the video, you know what to do. Bye and see you soon.